Wednesday is Jeudi is Thursday, Vendredi is Friday, Saturday is Saturday, Dimanche is Sunday. Aujourd'hui is today. C'est is it is. So today it is Mercredi. It's Wednesday. Today it is Jeudi. It's Thursday. Here is some of some more, I guess, vocabularies to put with each couple with each of the days of the week. Lundi, Marie dance on Lundi, uh, and then Mardi, Tuesday, Chantal chant. She sings. Mercredi, Maria lit to read. Jeudi, Sonia joue to play. Sonia joue au tennis. Uh, she plays tennis. Vendredi, Friday, Lily peint. She paints. Samedi, Bridge. Nage, she swims. Dimanche, la famille va au zoo. La famille goes to the zoo on Sunday. Bonjour, installe-toi confortablement devant ton écran et joue avec moi. Aujourd'hui, nous allons apprendre les mois de l'année. Janvier. Février. Mars. Avril. Mai Juin Juillet Août Septembre Octobre Novembre Décembre As-tu tout bien retenu Allez à ton tour Quel est le premier mois de l'année Janvier pendant quel mois fête ton Noël But In what month do we celebrate Noël or Christmas Décembre Cite deux mois d'été. List two months of the summer. Juillet et août. Bravo, tu connais désormais les mois de l'année tu as aimé cette vidéo? But let's cover here the feminine nouns and the masculine nouns because as I said in speaking people don't really know if you are don't really care if you are putting le la le la le improvise and just guess if it's a feminine and masculine. But one of the some of the cues that can help you is if you have a word ending with ion, ion, so religion, question, télévision, i e les, la biologie, la physiologie, la Russie, ans, or ans, la conférence, la science, la violence, la violence, la chance, la distance, la tolérance, it, for like example, université, l'activité, la qualité, ur, à chaussure, is for shoes, and then confiture is for jam, voiture is for car, s, adresse, politesse, la presse, et, Assiette, uh, which means a plate, la casquette. A hat, uh, la chaussette, which means uh, socks. Tude, attitude, étude, solitude. Étude is studies, our study. Solitude is solitude, attitude is attitude. Is, chemise. Uh, entreprise, and la valise. A valise is bags, or like travel bags, more so. Masculine nouns is everything else, but really the, uh, to help you focus more, it's more like colors. Rouge, le rouge, le bleu, le jaune. Rouge is red, bleu is blue, jaune is yellow. Languages, le français, le français, la chinoise, le russe. Nouns of, or, uh, of foreign origin, anything that's foreign or English or something that's borrowed, it's always going to be masculine. On sandwich, on job, on weekend. And on weekend is something, on job and in weekend is something that you will see in Quebec. Because we have something where we use so many English words in our French 
just like French, uh, just like English people use French words. Some well, the thing is, we live in Canada, so there's so much buffering. So we some of the words that we find in Quebec is like on party, on leader, some more masculine endings are like gonna be al et hier ism mon age e fon war. And spectacle is like a show. Poulet is a chicken. Paquet is a packet. Escalier is a stairs. Fichier is a file. Métier is a job or a capitalism. Mechanism, nationalism, vêtement is a cloth, fromage is cheese, voyage is travel, chauffage is heat, rage is rage, chapeau is a hat, bateau is a boat, bureau is a desk, peau is a skin, eau is water, rasoir is the shave, the shaving razor, le soir is the evening. Here is some of the variations of masculine and feminine. Those are the things that you'll have to just take the pattern and apply it wherever you see something similar. So, elle est étudiant, he's a student. Elle est étudiant. Elle est étudiant. So, here is just, I'm trying to make a liaison because when uh, we have T and a vowel or a concept of a vowel, after that, we have to make liaison, we have to connect them together. together. For example, elle est assistant. So we are kind of merging them into one word. Elle est assistant. Elle est acteur. Elle est actrice. Il est danseur. Il est danseuse. Il est boulangère. Elle est boulangère. Il est informaticien. Elle est informaticienne. The thing that changes all the time is that when you have A and A, A and T, it changes to E. Étudiant, add an E at the end, so étudiant, I just add an E, assistant, just add an E, acteur, er, change to is, danseur, change to us, er, us, boulanger, which is the baker, changes to er, just add an E at the end, informaticien, and if you have an N already at the end, you just add an NE to make it feminine. Let's cover now the adjectives, a very bulky topic. The adjectives is something that you use to describe a noun. For example, il y a une atmosphère amicale dans l'entreprise. There is, again, uh, il y a means there is or there are. And one of the strategies that I'll cover when we get to the stories and in the movies is that I'll advise you to just memorize sentences as they are. Don't deconstruct sentences in French. Just take them as they are. So il y a, don't break it apart. Take it from me, I have spent years developing the most effective French learning technique and this is what I came up with. But you'll really find more about it as we move on to the movies part. This is the, where we apply the core strategy and you will see tremendous exponential growth in your French in just a matter of a week or so. Okay, so il y a, is there is or there are an, an atmosphere, an atmosphere amical, friendly. Dans l'entreprise and the enterprise. C'est trop cher. It is very expensive. Cette blague n'est pas drôle. This joke is not funny. Cette blague. This joke. Set here is a variation of c. This is for masculine. Set is for feminine. Um, so cette blague. This joke is not funny. And here we sandwich être. And here the conjugation of s is il est. Implicit. So remember that. Je suis, tu es, il est. And then we use il est here uh, because we're saying that it is, like it is. Il, he, or he is, or it is. So, we say it between n'est pas. Et cette blague n'est pas drôle. N'est pas drôle. It's not funny. And we're not saying that it's not a funny joke. Tu es beaucoup trop gentil avec moi. You are very much, uh, very much very, beaucoup, very, trop, much, gentil, nice, with me, avec moi. We're describing you. Cory est un escargot ivre. Cory is, is a drunk snail. So we don't say drunk snail. We say, I mean, we don't write ivre escargot. Ivre is drunk. We say escargot ivre. Snail drunk. Not drunk snail. Snail drunk. That's how we organize the adjective after the noun. Votre sœur est travailleuse. Your sister is hardworking. Mais Michael n'est pas travailleur. But Michael is not hardworking. 
And again, a travailleur is a masculine travailleuse. We just have to replace the er with eus or eus with er. And then finally, tu dois être plus prudent. Then dois verb devoir, which is to have to, to have to. So tu dois, the conjugation tu dois, être, you have to be more prudent or careful for éviter, pour éviter, to avoid, de commer, to commit une grosse erreur, a big error. But what happened here? We have the adjective before the noun. And this is one of the exceptions of adjectives where you put the adjective before the noun. It's classified into cat categories called banks. Beauty, age, numbers, goodness, and size. It's an acronym. So beauty, for example, belle or beau. So beautiful beau is for masculine. Belle is for... So here, beau is for masculine. Belle is for masculine. And then we have a vowel after that. So you don't, we can't put this one. You have to put this one. And then belle is for feminine. Then when you put an X after that, you will have a... Uh, masculine pluriel and if you put an s we have feminine pluriel and we'll cover that in the table soon later a pretty girl on julie feel so we put here the adjective julie before feel we don't put, we don't say une feel julie on julie feel the beautiful woman la belle femme the beautiful apartment la belle appartement again this is appart appartement is a film but we put belle instead of beau it's because appartement is preceded by a vowel. So age, jeune, is to say someone is young, vieux, old, vieille, and then vieille. Nouveau, nouvelle, nouvelle. And we'll cover that in a table soon. The old teacher, le vieux prof. The old teacher. A young American, un jeune américain. A new computer, a nouvel ordinateur. Or a nouvel ordi. Numbers. Première, troisième, deuxième, autre. Autre is other. It is located on the second floor. Elle se trouve. It is located. Au deuxième étage. At the second floor. There is another party. Il y a un autre fête. Again. So put autre. And numbers before the noun. Étage is floor. Goodness. Bon or mauvaise. Bon is good, mauvaise is bad. A good grade on bon note, a bad grade on mauvaise note. Size. Petite, grand, cross. Petite is small, grand is tall, and gross is big. So the tall girls, les grandes filles. Le small cat, et un petit chat. The fat dog, le gros chien. Then we have to say, I uh, have to stress this that. Adjectives agree with gender and number. Le chien est petit. The dog is small. Le chien est petit. The dog is little uh, or small. But here we just put the feminine form of the dog instead of the masculine form. Mike et Anna sont petit. And those, those both are feminine and masculine combined together. We have to put petit with masculine, plural. And then if you have two feminine together you have to put the plural uh, feminine so we have as always in french we have irregularities as i said we're going to cover the beau belle in a table so beau belle belle beau belle and we have masculine masculine singular masculine before vowel feminine singular masculine plural feminine plural essentially just masculine feminine plural and singular but they all have different writings. But you know, you just, I, if I were to just look at the table and just familiarize myself with it. So, nouveau, nouvelle, nouvelle, nouveau, nouvelle, new, vieux, vieille, vieille, vieux, vieille, old. Examples, l'Italie est un très beau pays. Italy is a very nice, a beautiful country. Il me faut un nouvel ordinateur. I need a new computer. They feel aussi belle qu'elle. C'est rare. Girls as beautiful as her is rare. Où sont-ils mes vieux amis? And here I did the liaison again because we have X and then a vowel. Où sont-ils mes vieux amis? 
Where are they? Where are my old friends? Some more adjectives to familiarize yourself with. Masculine do, feminine dos, translation soft. Faux, faux, false, favori, favorite, 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 frais, fresh, fresh, long, 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 public, public, public. Okay, and some more adjectives as well with uh, different endings for masculine and feminine. Cruel, pareil, gentil, gentil, mignon, mignon, gros, gros, ancien, ancien, secret, secrète, cher, cher, heureux, heureuse, trompeur, trompeuse, créateur, créatrice, actif, active, franc, franche. Folle. Some more examples: pauvre, poor, difficile, difficult, sensible, insensitive, rich, rich, calm, semblable, similar, mince, slim, minuscule, tiny, ridicule, ridiculous, propre, clean, ironique, ironic, imaginaire, imaginary. And heureux again is happy, heureux is happy, international, international, and just observe how they change when you flip from masculine to feminine or vice versa. Some adjectives actually change, have their meaning change when you place them before and after the noun. And those are only reflected to th those examples here, nothing else. So you just you just have to worry about those. And see, if you put it, and when you put an adjective after a noun, you will have a literal meaning. When you put it before the noun, you'll have a figurative meaning. For example, ancien, Oliver adore le meuble ancien. He likes the old furniture. So what would the figurative meaning of old mean here? Zoe est l'ancien, ancien copine de Brad, Brad. She is the former girlfriend of Brad. Cher, François aime le parfum, cher, François aime le parfum, cher de Paris. Here the literal meaning is expensive. François likes the expensive perfumes of Paris. Paris. Chers amis, dear friends, je suis content de vous voir. Dernier, Brad a vu Zoe la semaine dernière. Brad saw, saw Zoe the last week. Last week, Brad did a Zoe pour la dernière fois. Brad told Zoe for the last time, I don't want to see you. Grand. En général, en général, les poissons ici ne sont pas grands. The fish here are not big. Brad is a big musician and I forgot to highlight that with the green. So here a not big and a big musician are like here is more like big and here is like famous, you know. So même same Francois is the hypocrisy itself. Itself here is the literal meaning, but the same is the figurative meaning. Olive and Francois adore the same little beach. Pauvre, poor. À son arrivée, to his, at his arrival at Texas, Brad était, was a musician pauvre. He was a, a poor musician. The pauvre pra, Brad, the poor Brad here is not like saying that uh, Brad's actually poor. It's like really, figuratively speaking, he's not really poor. Saying that uh, poor him. Le pauvre Brad était malheureux quand il a quitté la France. Prochain, next. Mes chers étudiants, mes chers étudiants, la semaine prochaine, the next week, vous avez un examen, you have an exam. Brad dit à Zoe, Brad told Zoe, et la prochaine fois que tu me suis, je paie la police. Brad told Zoe, next time you follow me, I will call the police. So here the difference between prochain, prochain here is like following, and there here the next. So following, and here the next. Propre can mean clean or my. So, mais, oui, Jack est un homme propre. He is a clean uh, man. But, but yes, Jack is a clean man. Jack veut, Jack wants his own restaurant. His own restaurant. Son propre restaurant. And again, this is the possessive pronouns. Seul, alone, or only. Connie, Connie est seule. She is alone. Cette, dans le cœur de Brad, 
Kony El Sol Fam is the only woman Kikon that comes to him. Simple. Marie n'est pas simple. Marie is not simple. Brad n'est pas un simple engineer. And here simple can mean uncomplicated, literal meaning, and it can also mean merely. So here, Marie is not uh, uncomplicated. And Brad here, not just an engineer. He is also a musician. Ben a raconté des histoires vraies. So vrai here, vrai is uh, true and real. So it can be either true or real. Ben a raconté des histoires vraies sur sa vie pendant la guerre. And really, I don't think there really uh, is a big difference between before and after. You can just use your own discretion. But it can e either mean true or real. So, comparative adjectives. How do you see something is more intelligent than someone else? So, text, for example, is more intelligent than someone else. You can say plus. So, text est plus intelligent que. So, you add plus que sandwich the adjectives. Text is more intelligent than Joe Bob. Marie Bob est moins prétentieux que text. Joe Bob, Joe Bob is less pretentious than text. So, plus que or moins que. Bien sûr, il est plus difficile d'être poète que d'être écuriel. Of course, uh, it is more difficult to be poète than to be squirrel. Fiona est aussi belle que Tam Tammy. So we saw plus que, moins que. So have a seeker, as much as. So plus que is more, more than, moins que is less than, and a seeker as much as as. So. Fiona is as much beautiful as Tammy. Mais elles ne sont pas aussi séduisantes que bêtes. But she is not as seductive. Good and the bad. Bon. Uh, good. How do you say something is good in a uh, French adjective? La cuisine de Tammy est bonne. So, and bon as well, it has to agree with number and gender. So we have bon, bon avec S, and then bon, bon avec S. So the cuisine de Tammy is bon. Tammy is cooking is good. Tammy is a bon cuisinier. Tammy is a good cook. So are examples of good. But when you use more good than, you don't have that in English. The same thing is for French. You don't have to say more good than. You have to say better. And for better, you have to say meilleur. So you don't say plus bon or plus bon. You have to say meilleur. Example: The pretext Tammy is a bon party. It's a good match. Mais bête. Pense que elle serait, that she would be a better match than Tammy. And then we have plus mauvais que, worse than. And then for adverb, you have when you describe a verb, you have to say mieux. So, for example, he pitches the best. Il lance mieux, best. Then, for example, he lance mieux que Tammy. He throws better than Tammy. And here we use mieux instead of meilleur because we are describing a verb, not an adjective, not a noun. Mais si Tammy cuisine, so he cooks better than Fiona. Mieux que Fiona. Alright, the bad, mauvais. Have some examples. He said, if I said the mauvais souvenir, he wishes to erase bad memories. Adjectives we have. Plus mauvaise, as we saw earlier, and pire. Mais il est évident que le caractère de Beth est plus mauvais que celui de Tammy is worse than Tammy. The, the, the personality of Beth is worse than Tammy. We use pire to describe an adverb. Il attire la pire plouc. He attracts the worst rednecks. And we used pire here because we are describing attire, right? And then here's some more example. Le meilleur des deux, the best students you might have heard the best to be mieux but if it's an adjective it's gonna be meilleur so because we discover étudiant it's gonna be meilleur the best students at, at a university of texas to university of texas because it is the most cool city we also have moins bon as well et elle a elle a le moins bon équipe de foot she has the least good team in football so Plus bon is again meilleur, moins bon is as it is, plus mauvais, plus mauvais, moins mauvais, and so on. 
So final words and adjectives. Uh, these are some more examples of adjectives. So the first sentence here. Qui fait la meilleure tarte? Who makes the best tart? Qui fait la moins bonne cu uh, cuisse de grenouille? Who makes the worst frog legs? And then text est un tattoo intéressant. He's an interesting armadillo. Tammy est un fil charmant. Tammy is a charming girl. Edward et Corey are amusing animals. Bet et Fiona are surprising creatures. The créatures surprenant. Again, it comes up to the adjectives, except for Bex. Okay, now let's move on to the conjunctions and transition words. When you say and, but, as well as, those are all con conjunction and transition words. We have a to stand for and, ou is or, and if you have ou with an, with an accent, it means where. Okay, so don't confuse that. Ou without accent is or. Think of it as if you put this one, it comes more complex and you are asking question. Leave it simple uh, without an accent and you will have an or. Okay, and then ou bien or else, mais, but, donc, so, car is because or parce que, or is yet, ensuite is next, then, puis is then. And we will see some more examples in literature. So transition words again, d'abord is, it means first of all, d'abord il faut réchauffer le four. First of all, you have to preheat the oven. Ensuite is next. Ensuite, je prépare la tarte au cerises. Next, I prepare the cherry pie. And then we have more examples. Puis, enfin, and then puis again is then, enfin is finally, on si, as well as, but on si que comes together actually. Après que, after that, avant, avant que is before that. Or avant is before, bien que, though, de que, as soon as, parce que, or car, because, pour, is for, que, is that, quoi que, no matter what. Tant que, as long as, comme, puisque, like, lorsque, or quand, is when, or while, quoi que, although, donc, is so, en fait, is in fact. Cependant, is however, en revanche, par contre, is the other hand, en plus, en outre, is moreover. Pour, pour ma part, pour moi, according to me, à mon avis, in my opinion, on admettant que, in admitting that. And you can find more examples of that on fluentu.com slash blog slash french slash french dash transition dash words.